Hi guys, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about the top five cell phone plans of July, 2019. Kicking off our list at number five is the OnePlus 7 Pro. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna use upphone.com, which is our new website to do this. Uh, and with upphone, you can compare every cell phone, every plan on every carrier in the US. So OnePlus 7 Pro, as David said. Yep, pretty good screen size, 6.7 inches, mm -hmm. 48 megapixel, 16 megapixel, and eight megapixel triple rear camera. Mm -hmm. Now the megapixels aren't everything, uh, but mm -hmm. it's safe to say this is a pretty solid camera. Mm -hmm. Also has a couple storage options, 128 gigabytes and 256. Mm -hmm. More than enough for the average user. Mm -hmm. A couple drawbacks of this phone, not waterproof. It also doesn't support wireless charging. Mm -hmm. So, but this, this is a decent Android. I mean, especially if you're like, I'm too cool for Google or Samsung or Apple, I'm gonna get the OnePlus 7 Pro. This is probably your best bet. Yeah, it's a great phone. Good price point too. Yep. 700 bucks. Sure. For 48 megapixel camera. Yeah. All right. Coming in at number four on our list is the iPhone XS Max. This is really the top of the line iPhone at this point. Mm -hmm. Screen size, six and a half inches. It's also the most expensive iPhone too. So that's uh, something to consider, mm -hmm. uh, but it has rear, 12 megapixel cameras. The iPhone cameras are amazing. They can mm -hmm. record in 4K, mm -hmm. take really good photos. Yep. We use one for our overhead cam. We do use an iPhone for overhead cam. <laughs> Up phone is great because you can compare the prices of the iPhone XS, different sizes yep. on every carrier, and not just the prices, but the different ways you can pay for it. So check out Up phone. It's really a cool yep. site. Yeah, one drawback of this phone too is that it's it's so large that some people, that it's too big for them. Yep. And well, they can get the iPhone XS. Well, they can get the iPhone XS, which is 0.7 inches smaller display. Mm -hmm. Makes a difference. Yeah. Coming in at number three on our list is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. This is pretty much the Samsung Galaxy equivalent of the iPhone XS Max. Again, mm -hmm. you got the dual rear cameras, 112 megapixel, 116 megapixel. Mm -hmm. About the same size as the iPhone XS Max, 6.4 inch display size. Supports wireless charging, it's waterproof. It also supports reverse wireless charging. Mm -hmm. No iPhone yet supports reverse wireless charging, but stay tuned for September with the new release. Right, reverse wireless charging. I mean, it looks cool, but yeah. you can't use either phone. Maybe you can use the top phone when you're doing it, but the bottom person, you know. Well, I, I think the way that reverse wireless charging would be cool for iPhone users when that comes out is that if you have the AirPods wireless charging case, uh -huh. stick it right on your iPhone, boom. Yeah, hopefully it'll work. Hopefully you can oh, still use your iPhone. Yeah, that's, that's you stick well, it they're gonna have the, uh, the accessory with a little backpack for your iPhone. You stick your AirPods in there. Perfect. Yeah. Like a kangaroo pouch. Yeah. Again, this Samsung is also the most expensive Samsung Galaxy in the market right now. Yeah, the, the, the S10e is the budget equivalent Samsung to the iPhone XR, which we'll talk about later. Yep. Um, and that used to be part of our, our top five list, the mm -hmm. S10e, because it was the budget Android phone. Yep. But not anymore. But not anymore because Google released the Pixel 3a XL. If I was going to buy an Android phone, this is the one that I would buy. Mm -hmm. Six inch display, 12.2 megapixel camera, 64 gigabytes of storage space, which is on the smaller end, mm -hmm. uh, but still for your average user, it's probably enough. More than enough because Google is so great at with all their cloud services. Mm -hmm. You don't need as much on-device storage. You just put all your photos in Google Cloud and yep. everything else in Google Cloud and everything's in the cloud. Yep. So. Google Assistant is also superior to Bixby and Siri. It's really not close. <sighs> I hate when you say that, but you might be right. <laughs> Not even close. Yeah. And so prices though, big difference between the uh, 10e and, mm -hmm. and this phone and other phones in this phone. Yep. I mean, Spectrum Mobile 450. Yep. It's a good deal. It's crazy. Pixel 3X, 3a XL, great battery life. A lot of, a lot of waterproof, dustproof. Mm -hmm. It's a really good phone. As I said, if I was gonna buy an Android, this is the one that I would buy. Mm -hmm. But number one on our list again, at least until September, I think it's going to be number one on our list is the iPhone XR. It's the budget iPhone, the newest of the newest generation of iPhones. 6.1 inch display, 12 mm -hmm. megapixel camera, three storage variations, 64, 128, 256. Mm -hmm. Really good battery life. Mm -hmm. I think that Apple went out of their way to try to make this phone look worse than the other new iPhones. Mm -hmm. But my friend Ryan has this phone. I use it. It's the same. It's, it's a little right. bit bigger than the XS, right? The yeah, a little size? bit bigger, yeah. And it's beautiful. It's an awesome phone. It's fast, same yeah. processor. The display resolution is a little bit smaller than the mm -hmm. iPhone XS Max, but you're yeah. not going to notice that. Mm -hmm. Supports uh, wireless charging. Mm -hmm. It's waterproof. It's a great phone. It's a great phone. You can get it at a great price too. Yep. And especially if you get something like the Spurt Limited Kickstart plan, mm -hmm. where you can get $25 a line for limited data and then a phone for 10 bucks a line, $35 mm -hmm. a month per yeah. line 
unlimited data, new cell phone. Yeah, make sure you check out our other video too, the best plans of July 2019, yep. where we talk about some great plans. Yeah, card above and in the description section below. So those are our top five cell phones of July 2019. Thank you guys for watching. Leave us a comment down below. Do we miss your favorite phone? Please tell us and disagree with our list. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones and cell phone plans.